So hello everyone and welcome back. Happy FNAF 8 anniversary. <coughs> Man, time flies quickly, am I right? Technically the anniversary was yesterday, but whatever. But there's actually going to be a one week celebration which was announced by Steel Wool themselves and it will be very interesting. But don't expect any new teasers though. Steel will probably learn their lesson not to show things when they are still in development, so yeah. But today I have something different for you. Today I have two small but large theories that I've seen on the FNAF subreddit. I found them really interesting. So the first theory is by you, Philip Brave. So without further ado, let's start with the first one. So the theory basically states that the FNAF 6 location was built in the same building as Threadbare's family diner. And I think that you might be convinced after I say the evidence that Phil Brave provided. So the first evidence that Phil Brave presented is that there is only one room. Now, yeah, from the FNAF 2 minigames it does seem like there is only one room. But what I will say is that in the FNAF 4 minigames we can clearly see that the restaurant has more than one room. So I'm not convinced here. The second evidence is really interesting. It states that the alleyway looks just like the FNAF 6 location. And I have to agree. The trash cans are there, the posters, and even the trash bags. Although you may say that it is not 100% accurate, but you gotta remember that the mini games were never 100% accurate. Yeah, this evidence may be kinda weird, but the alleyways are just so similar that I kinda want to believe it. The next piece of evidence is that the year 1983 is mentioned on the alleyway posters a lot which OP thinks links it to 1983, therefore it connects it to FNAF 4, which connects it to Fredbears. Also, Fredbears is fully decorated on a Halloween, which can explain that the Spookfest poster on the FNAF 6 location was there for a very long time. I feel like this is kinda convincing. It makes sense that they would have a Spookfest poster that says 83 in Fredbears to celebrate Halloween. But the poster in game is located in the FNAF 6 location, so I think that is very interesting. Also, it would make sense that the place where it all started would be the same place that it all ended. Many people were saying that the posters that Steel Wool provided to us, that says Fred Bear's Family Dunner and all that, were clickbait, but maybe not. What if the FNAF 6 location is really Fred Bear's, you know? Let me know what do you think, because I kinda believe it. It makes sense. I mean, yeah, it all may just be a coincidence, but a pretty big one. So, yeah, let's just move on to the second theory. This one is by Ed Derrick. So the second theory states that in FNAF 6, in the drawn cutscenes, the man who is shown is actually William Afton. First of all, the man is wearing purple outfits, which change. So in the first image he's wearing like a nice outfit with a hat and in other images he's wearing something like a uniform which can explain that he was once a guard and once a businessman. In the last image he's wearing fully yellow which connects him back to the yellow guy in Midnight Motorist minigame. I don't know about you but I 100% believe that this is William. It matches perfectly as to how William could look like and there are just so many little details that I really believe this one. Also, Ed Derrick points out the chain on Springtrap and compares it to the man and, well, <laughs> yeah, I really believe this one. It makes sense, these tapes or whatever they are were made by Henry most likely to maybe make fun of William or just make him the main character in these tapes because, you know, he's the one that started it all, he's the co-founder or whatever. So yeah, I really believe that this is our first look as to how William Afton looked like. So, let me know what you thought about these two little theories. When I first saw them, I was like, yeah, these are very good. And I decided to do a video on them now. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the anniversary week, and I will see you next time. Bye.